And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last aggressive Sharima deck today, last donation deck. We're going to have Renekton pair with Kindred this time. Now, as y'all know, yesterday was Kindred Spotlight Day and I didn't do so well. You know, like sometimes you have like your, your good days, your bad days. I don't know. I just didn't. We played three slow control decks. I didn't. Uh, it was kind of a thing of just like maybe not being as familiar with the decks, you know, a little inexperience with them and everything, and I just didn't play them perfectly. It's a little disappointed with how I showed Kindred yesterday. Um, so we're gonna make up for it today. That's the the moral of the stories. We're gonna make up for it. We're gonna be playing another aggressive Kindred list, which our one that was the most aggressive yesterday was the one that did the best. And um, we're gonna be attacking and everything, pairing it with Renekton, going along with the quick attack. Now, as we talked about yesterday, Kindred's body at being 4-4 is kind of small for 5 mana, and that's like one of the downsides to it, um, that, we, you know, we wish that Kindred was a little bit bigger. Um, there's, like, the 4-4 just kind of dies too easily to a lot of things, like Black Spear, Merciless Hunter, you know, getting getting eaten up by uh, Screeching Dragon, all that kind of stuff. So what if we made Kindred bigger? So we're going to be playing Siphoning Strike. We got three Siphoning Strikes in here. Hopefully this you know gives our ally champions plus two, plus two, because then Kindred being a 6-6, six, six, now we're talking. <laughs> you know, 6-6 six, six quick attack, uh, I like it. It also may means that like our opponent has to block it a lot more, because that's the thing of like, when you have like Kindred attacking with the quick attack, it's a good attacker. But if, if you're playing a control deck where your opponent just has 20 life, they look at taking four and they're like, sure, I'll just take four. But if, you know, once you're like, attacking with a 6-6, six, six, then they're like, man, I got a block, and then they, you know, get slayed, and now now you're slaying stuff and, and everything, it just makes Kindred even better. So uh, preparing it aggressively where their life total's lower and they have to block, and also bigger Kindred, hopefully all that helps out. Um, Siphoning Strike also will help us level up our Renekton, because it's gotta deal damage. We're also gonna have a spicy one to level up Renekton in here with Boomerang Blade, um, being able to kill a couple of things. So like. If we have a Kindred in play, we Boomerang Blade, we kill the strongest enemy and the weakest enemy, and then we mark like the next weakest enemy. That could be a pretty sweet three for one. But besides that, we're gonna just kind of pair it together with like early Shadow Isle stuff and you know like uh, self slay things, Ride of Calling, Ravenous Butcher, Wings of the Wave, um, you know Reaper in here with the self slay units, um, all that kind of early stuff, and then aggro at the top end. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play some Kindred Renekton. We'll go play five games in ranked. Oh, question is, how would I buff Kindred? I, I think Kindred could use a fifth point of hell, right? I would I would just make Kindred a 4-5 instead of a 4-4. Four, four. I, would, I would do that. All right, Yasuo. See, I just don't have anything to slay right now. And like just keeping multiple Reapers that are one twos may not be great. I don't know. Maybe I keep the Glimpse Beyond. I don't know. I kind of want to keep the Glimpse Beyond. Because then we draw it. Okay, cool. Well, we still have. Because I was going to say, then we draw something that we can actually slay. Alright, so this is a Noxus Yasuo deck. It's a new one. Alright, so it looks like, looks like an ephemeral based deck. If you ask me. I kind of want to attack with the two, two twos, but I don't think it's worth it. So you have to assume that they have a lot of, you know, like, re so it looks like they're playing a lot of recall stuff. So, like, if I just go Siphoning Strike, they recall. Um, kind of have to assume that. But you never know, maybe they tap out. Seems unlikely. Alright, I'm gonna go for Glimpse Beyond instead. So 
we're taking nine. Shadow Isles v. Ionia. Expecting that to work. Boomerang Blade! Love it. Like, Boomerang Blade, you can't just, like... Um, they can't just, like, you know, recall their thing and stop it, right? Like, it's just gonna strike the strongest and weakest. Aw, oh, dang, they missed. That's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. That, that's a feels bad. Kind of feels bad a way to win, but we'll take it. One and oh. Okay. Get some wins today. Yeah, these games are quick. I like I like it. Oh, playing against a macro. Alright, it looks like the next prediction's up if you want to wager your channel points, whether we'll win or lose. Okay, so we're gonna definitely mulligan this card, and I'm sorry, Kindred, I like you, but I don't want to keep a five mana card, because we'll find another by the time we need you. We can block Jury Rig. If they go one drop, discard Jury Rig. House Spider. Am I trading fading icon for that thing? I don't think so. Like if I play fading icon first, let them block the one one. I don't really know why I didn't play the Reaper to begin with. Got a block there, a block there, and take the rest. Yeah, probably gotta take the rest. Ugh. Okay, well, not great. Exhaust! Ancient Hourglass? That doesn't really help. So basically I'm worried about Jinx. Which is why I didn't lead with Renekton or anything, because we need to kill, like, you gotta kill Jinx. Now we still have a whole bunch of elusives. I'm not sure how I'm dealing with all those elusives right now. I 
because they're just going to kill me next round. Definitely wish I would have blocked that 3-1 right now. I don't know why the Reaper's not attacking last. It should. Reaper should definitely be attacking last. Right now we can survive with the Spirit Journey. Oh no, we can't because of... Oh, I was going to say because of Spinning Axe we can't, but... Hourglass, I mean, I guess. I, mean, I guess. They still get to draw their three and everything. Possible I need to just keep my spell man available. Guess we did need a withering whale. Say, technically, we're not dead yet. Technically. If they just draw House Spider, Arena Battlecaster. We're technically not dead yet. Attacking for lethal, am I? I guess I had to play Rune Runner first, but it's so hard to play Rune Runner first, but I guess I had to. It's so hard to, but I, I guess I just had to. We could still top deck something that does one damage to them. Which I guess we don't have any of those cards in our in our deck. What was the, what was the card they discarded? Oh yes, yeah, so their hand was Urchin, Crowd Favorite, Draven. I, I would have won. Would have played Rune Runner first. What am I doing? Obviously, I lose now. That was a close game, though. GGS. It's so hard to play that Rune Runner and not go to attacks, but I just had to. Got to make the tough plays sometimes. Could have one. Well, actually, maybe not. 
I was thinking that I would get the art, the other point of overwhelm in, but I guess crowd favorite would have been a seven six, and we would not have. Right? Yes, because they would have just played. They could have just played crowd favorite, and then it would have been a seven six. And I would not have gotten the overwhelm damage in from Ruin Runner. Or from or from next one of them. So no, I actually would not have won. All right, Sejuani, Trindamir. I think I'm gonna keep Exhaust with Renekton. And then look for earlier things. I wish I had a one drop. One drop? See the Nebastian border from here. Well, good curve for them. Yay. Let's do it. We'll save the siphoning strike. Alright, so I block here. Those trade, we mark the 1 1. 1 1 dies. We get our first mark with Kindred. We'll hopefully level up Renekton and get the second mark, and then level up Kindred as well. Of course, could be holding on to Frostbite cards. All right, cool. But now they can still play big stuff. But hopefully, Siphoning Strike helps us kill big stuff. When you have, when you level up Kindred like this, now we get to, we can still slay a new thing and mark something else again, right? Like we can, like that thing, pretty big. Hmm. I have multiple ways to kill this. I also have Vile Feast, Ravenous Butcher that would kill it. Didn't get to grow our champions, unfortunately, with the Siphoning Strike. I went with that because they wouldn't, you know, didn't really have a lot of mana for um, Frostbite cards, but they had a Troll Champ. All right, GGs. I like this, like, aggressive Kindred, right? Like, where they kind of have to block, and, and the size of Kindred matters more. That 
That was pretty nice. GG's. Ravenous Butcher's like, okay, I have to sacrifice something, but you also have to sacrifice something. <laughs> Basically. Be your run. Can we get a mark on Fiora? Definitely want like spells to help us kill Fiora, right? Got a champion, that's good. They don't have any more fr frostbite cards. Yeah, I'd rather them use a pump spell than a frostbite spell. With having exhaust. It's just my best play. Like, is it is this perfect? No. But this is the best that I got. Good hand though. They're gonna have by round four be able to play Fiora and play four spells and still have multiple other mana available after four spells. <laughs> yeah, I guess they I guess they can can win the game with that. Good hand. Tough deck to beat when they have a hand like that. Sometimes tough deck to beat. All right, two and two. Is this all right? it is an interlude. We're not playing Targon with Hush. Yeah, Boomerang Blade striking one unit twice would have been nice. But. Okay. Two and two. Let's get this win. Let's finish out with a three two and finish with three three twos. Okay, okay. Hopefully we can be aggressive enough for this matchup. There again, a deck with a lot of uh, cheap little uh, combat spells. You know, more 
Elixir of Irons, Troll Chant, stuff like that. But the Puffcap decks like playing against slower decks, because the longer the game goes, the better for Puffcap. So hopefully we could be fast enough. Merciless Hunter. We love it when they run. Overtuned. So troll chant saves. Teemo, Brittle Steel, that kind of stuff. Three sisters, sure. We can force him to have it. You know, cost. They had to spend five mana on that, as opposed to the three mana on my Merciless Hunter. So we'll take it. Pretty good Valfi Strong. Will you have what he's having? Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. We've had a good hand so far. Blow up some planets. Nice ice fill archer. Ice fill archer still gets underneath the. It's not like a spell, right? It gets underneath the spell shield. So if I would have just gone ruin runner, it'd still get underneath that. I guess I could have played around that. Very good round for my opponent. Awesome. Let's go. So now, Have a mushroom. Have three. next round, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, next round, seven mana. Not enough for Hunter and Ruin Runner. Because I don't know if I really want to glimpse beyond in this matchup. <laughs> I never noticed like him, like, look at it, look at look how he's pointing at the card. <laughs> I never noticed that. Um... I think I have to save in this spell mana. Mm. Get you in there. I never noticed that. He's like, Don't you dare! I'm gonna blast it! I'm gonna blast it! I honestly really like that. Because I don't want to draw two cards in this matchup anyway. I like that quite a bit.
Doesn't matter which one we do the the reckless predator on. That does put yeah you know, puts a card that doesn't have a puff cap back into the deck. So that's good. But I need to kill. Oh, gross. I say I need to kill these puff cap peddlers because puff cap peddler can dominate the game, as you can see. And they're down to just one card in hand. Same with me. Ooh, I like it. Maybe be the other way. That's fine. So many puff caps. So many puff caps. That was a good chump one draw. Alright, finally got rid of those things. Hey Vulcan Plays, welcome welcome. Just start playing the game. This could be a, a good resource for you. Wait, what just happened? What did Static Shock? Killed Rune Runner? I have fifty two puff caps now. Oh, and he killed the O1. Uh, and he killed the O1. That Foundry is maybe the best card in their deck to draw. <laughs> well... Not Kindred. Better not draw a frostbite card. As long as they don't draw a frostbite card. All right, like that's that's basically the entire game right now. Do they draw a frostbite card? Hopefully not. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. Troll Chant could still keep him alive. Yep. Nice game. One 
That looked really, really good for us. They drew that chump wump was, a, you know, it was just an amazing draw before those things died. And then, you know, got the, the only card that could really kill us was that, um, make it, you know, start making us draw two after that. And they, and so, yeah, they got one of those and then, then they need the flash freeze and they got that. Man. Yeah, that was sad. They had three different flash freezes for my Renekton and I kept on drawing Renekton. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, uh, this champion spell isn't great at times. Oh, well, um, uh, yeah, I think our deck looked good. You know, I think, I think the deck looked good. I think honestly, all four of our decks looked good today. Um, but our opponents, you know, did get a couple of those ones. Um, I don't really know too much to change with the deck. Uh, I don't love all of our early stuff. You know, like it, it, you know, like there's times where Ravenous Butcher looks pretty bad if it doesn't work out and, and things like that. I don't know if there's like a better better way to go about all of that. Um, the Siphoning Strike was was good removal, but of course it is slow. Um, there's no like Nexus damage in here. I, I don't know if there's really much Nexus damage to get in, you know, like maybe like Doom Beast or something, but I don't know if that's really worth it. I don't know. I don't know if there's too much to change here, but, um, you know, sometimes you just have... We had some weird matches there, you know, like where we just died to Puff Caps, died to Fiora, you know, it's just some weird, weird stuff going on. But, but still looked, I think the deck looked good. And as far as Kindred decks go, um, I think this one looked better than some of the ones that we were playing yesterday, even though I know I only went two, three, um, but it, it looked stronger than the record. So um, that's going to be it here, though, for Kindred Renekton. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching some Kindred Renekton, and I'll see you for the next video.